Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a short-term memory experiment using the software PsychoPy. When we first open up the so PsychoPy software, we come to a builder view and here's where we are going to build our experiment. Down at the bottom where it says trial, that is where we are going to see our experiment unfold. This is our timeline where the experimental steps will appear at a chronological order. We first want to welcome our participants with a welcome screen. So first, we're going to rename this. As our welcome screen. Now we are going to add a text box and again text welcome or whatever name you would prefer but it's it's good to keep everything labeled just so that you stay organized especially for editing purposes later on. Now we're going to leave start time at zero stop we're going to leave that blank and you'll see why in a moment. These other settings you can either adjust them, leave them how they are, it's probably easiest just to leave them what they were already set to. Now the text, we're just going to welcome our participants to our experiment. Okay, so now when any time any instruction or any text is given. We don't want to rush our participants. So we're going to add a keyboard function. And again, we can label this as key welcome. Uh, start time zero, stop again, leave that blank. Now, this is your preference. So this is the key that you're going to let your participants click in order for them to continue on with the experiment. So I'm just going to leave it as the spacebar. And since I've chosen that option, I'm going to go back to the opening screen and let them know that the spacebar is what's going to allow them to move on. Okay. And we're going to run this just to make sure everything is running smoothly. And participant, leave this blank for now just because we're doing a test run and we'll allow for a participant number later on, but just for now, let's leave this blank. Welcome to the short-term memory experiment. Press the space bar to continue. Okay, great. So now that we have our welcome screen and we know that it's running smoothly, we now want to provide instructions to our participants. So in order to do this, we're now going to add, well, insert routine, new, and we're going to label this instructions. And we're going to insert this after the welcome screen because that's when we want the instructions to pop up. And now if you notice, we have two tabs. So now we're going to, just like before, add a text box. And I'm just going to label it the same title. Stop. We're going to again leave this blank because that's where our keyboard function will come in. And for text, I'm just going to provide instructions. And since I know for my keyboard function, to keep it consistent, I'm just going to allow the space bar to be the specific key for participants to continue on with the experiment. And again, we don't want them to feel rushed while they're reading a set of instructions. And font Arial, just by trial and error, it's going to be too big for the screen, so let's try Times New Roman. And this might be, this and might end up off the page, so let's try, just try this. And let's add the keyboard function again. And this is good. 
And again, we're just allowing the space bar. So now let's try this. Again, we should just leave this blank just for now because it's just another test run. All right, and if you like the way that looks, you can just leave it. Okay, so now that we have our welcome screen and our instruction screen, we now want to get into the actual data that we're going to collect from the experiment. So we're going to insert routine, new, and this is where our study trials is going. We're going to go to text and start this as our study trials and in this box or in this routine um, this is where our words that we put into Excel um, this is where they're going to appear and so we want each word to last about two seconds and for and for the color this will make more sense once I show you the Excel sheet but for now just put a money sign and then word color just like that and set every repeat and now the text is going to have a money sign and it's going to be word item and this is also going to be set every repeat we and now want to open up Excel and here okay so now here is our Excel sheet with 12 different words and only the first six are assigned two different colors so these words don't have to be emotions, I just chose them to be emotions. And ironically, I chose the more sadistic words, I assigned them to be shown as blue, and the happier words, I just chose them to appear as yellow. Um, but as you notice, these aren't the rest of these six words aren't assigned any color. And that is how we are going to test our participants, that is we're going to save it to our desktop and insert that into PsychoPy. And in order to do that, we're going to click on Insert Loop. We're going to want that loop to start here and end here. Now number of reps, we're doing just one. Selected rows, again, this came from Excel. And we only want those words that were assigned to colors. So we're going to do 0, colon, 6. It's only going to pick up these cells. Now conditions, we're going to find where we saved this on our desktop. And great, so it came up that we have 12 conditions with two parameters, and we're going to click OK. And as you can see, now that we have a loop, uh, we want to create a screen that is just blank, and it's kind of like our filler in between each word that lasts only for um, about a half a second is a good time. So we're going to basically just insert routine, new, and this is just going to be our blank screen. And we'll add it not here, but here, so that each word it's going to go to the blank screen right after it appears. So we're going to go to text, text to blank, and one second is too long, so we're just going to do a half a second, 0 0.5. We don't want this to have any text. And OK. And let's just see how things are working out so far. So we're going to run it. And again, we could just leave this participant number blank. And this is working great. So notice how the blank screen is lasting for a half a second in between each word, and that's exactly what we want. So now you want your participants to engage with you, the researcher. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a wait screen after they've just been exposed to all of the words that you've chosen. So now we're going to do new, and we're going to name this as the wait screen. And we want this to happen after our study trial. And just like 
all of our other tabs, we're going to, we're going to add the text, wait screen, um, leave this blank. Um, now we're going to just say, please notify researcher. So your participants are probably not going to notify you, the researcher, if you allow the allowed keys as the space since they've already been used to using the space bar to continue on to your experiment. So let's have the allowed key as something random that they probably won't figure out unless they typed on every single key on the keyboard. So let's just do one. Again, this could be multiple, you can make this two, and always put this in quotations no matter what allowed key you do so that it registers. And let's rename this as wait screen. So now that we have our wait screen, we're now going to add in another blank screen before we get to our test trials. Now we're going to add a yes and a no screen, and this is going to include instructions. So insert routine new. We will name this yes, no screen. This is going to happen after the blank screen. We're going to add text. And again, this is going to be the Y and N screen. Start zero. The stop is going to be blank. And we're just going to include a set of instructions. So I'm just including that the following words are testing your recall. Press either Y for yes, N for no, and keyboard function, key, Y and N. We can just leave it as Y and N. Again, we're just going to leave that at space. And OK. So this is where our test trials come in. So we're going to now insert routine new. Test trials. Insert. And we actually want to have a blank in between our yes and no screen and our test trials. So we're also going to insert a blank screen between here, and we might as well have one between our welcome and instructions. So, test trials, text, test trials, leave this blank, money word item. Now we're going to apply, set every repeat. So now this is going to be another loop using all 12 words that we have selected. Keyboard function. Since we have chosen either yes or no, our allowed keys are going to be Y and N. Again. We're going to loop this here and end it here. Number of reps, one. Conditions, we're going to use that same Excel copy. And OK. And we're going to add a blank screen again, just like we did before for our study trials. So we finally made it to our end screen. Yay! So now what we're going to do is insert routine, new, end screen. And this is just going to be the last thing that our participants will see. And since we don't want our participants just to get up and leave, we want to show our appreciation by not allowing them to have keyboard function to continue on and exit the experiment. So let's let them hang around for 10 extra seconds. And we're just going to say, 
Thank you for your participation in this study. Please see the researcher. Okay, so now your experiment is set and ready to go. You can click on go as many times as you would like. And in that blue little, blue little data folder that you have on your desktop, that stores all of your runs. So when you do go through your entire experiment and you had put in a and you've put in a participant number, what you're going to do then is you will go into your data file and you will get a CSV file and there it's going to have stored all of the yes and no responses. I would like to give credit to Jason Ozupko from his PsychoPy Memory Experiment Part 1 tutorial. His YouTube videos really helped ease a lot of frustration as a beginner to the PsychoPy software, but thanks to him, I was able to create my own twist to this experiment.